We're here, we're at Cartier. Let's run through some of the highlights, some of the, what Definitely. we really love. Because look, let's be clear, um, you know, there's still a couple more days in the fair, but I feel pretty confident in saying this, that Cartier's collection as a whole, what they're debuting here, there's, there's no weak link. Oh, not at all. There really isn't. Um, you know, the way I described it is sometimes you have a, a, a music album and there's a hit single. Uh, you know, there's one track, but the rest, eh, I'm going to fast forward them. This is the greatest hits. No, no, this, this is, yes, this is, this the, is greatest the greatest hits, hits every, album. Every track is solid, it hits hard. So we're not going to go into necessarily everything, but we're going to pick some of our favorites. So, yep. you know what? I'm going to let you kick things off. Ricardo, go for it. I have to start with the Pacha de Cartier grill. Beautiful design. Love what they did with the watch. It has this nice new mechanism. All you have to do, push it in, spin it off. Grill is no longer there. Want to put it back on, push it in, spin it back on. It's just a beautiful watch. Classic Cartier. The grill just adds this extra mm, to the watch that I really, really love. Yeah, you know, I, I think it's great because you have that sort of DIY versatility. Um, you know, for those who love the Santos, for example, the, the bracelet, you can remove links with your finger. So I love the fact that, of course, this isn't a bracelet, but the fact that you can make an adjustment that perhaps you would need a watchmaker to do in, in the past, especially with some of the 80s references. Well, now you can do it yourself and you can make one watch look like two. But OK, I'm going to circle back because I did mention the Santos. So in particular, the Santos Dumont, I was really blown away with yeah. what they've done. We've got a whole new trio that leverage lacquered cases, mm. okay? Thin layer of lacquer. We've got three versions, as I just said. Steel, pink gold, and platinum, okay? The pink gold and platinum are limited edition, so you will have to act fast. Uh, 250 for the pink gold, 150 mm -hmm. for the platinum. Yep. Now, of the three, I have to say that my favorite is the pink gold. So it's a limited edition. If I, you know, my birthday's coming up in September, I may have to act fast, maybe make a few uh, few emails. But pink gold, the creamy lacquer that's on it, it really oh, yeah. blends in well with the case. Yeah. And the dial, there's texture and there's real depth to it. So you feel like as you look into it, you're sinking into this, not a, a black hole per se, because it's more grid, it's more square. Mm -hmm. But as you reach the center where the hands are set, you can really sink into it. So it's really quite beautiful. And you know, for those wondering dimensions, it's it's a large, but large in Cartier doesn't necessarily mean large as, as we know it. 31.4 millimeters across, 43 lug to lug, give or take. Uh, it's just really, really beautiful. And steel, black lacquer on the case, that's standard production, so you know you don't have to act as fast. But I, I have a feeling it'll be quite hot. So if you want it, maybe inquire sooner rather than later. And platinum, as we know with platinum, uh, they love to utilize the the ruby cabochon versus yeah. the the sapphire cabochon. And so they've gone with the burgundy lacquer on the case. And it, they're all really quite stunning. But for me, the, the pink gold with the cream, it's just there's something about it. It's classic. It's vintagey. It's just awesome. What yeah. can I say? But I think speaking of lacquer, there's another lacquer involved reference that you were quite a fan of. Oh man, um, I have to say it's the Cartier Privé Tank Chinois. So it's this beautiful tank style watch. It takes the Chinese temple kind of pattern. So you have your squares all throughout the dial, it's skeletonized, has that same lacquer that you're talking about. Yes. But one highlight I have to say, while we were in there and I just fell in love with this watch, unbeknownst to us, yeah, sitting right next to this us. This is the beauty of being at Watches and Wonders, being in the metal, because you can have these sorts of conversations. Is the guy who designed the watch, a gentleman by the name of Rafael Abeon. I mean, to sit there and, and just hear him say, oh yeah, I designed it. And then just to be able to turn around and say, you know, tell me, what, were, what was your thoughts beyond the, creating that watch? How long did it take? It was just a beautiful experience. And I, I asked him, you know, like you, I would ask a parent who's their favorite child. They usually don't want to answer yeah. that question. But, you know, he's the guy who was behind the skeletonized versions. And he just said, I love them all. And I feel the same way. There's just something about that watch that just is beautiful. Yeah. Um, if I could ever get my hands on one of those references, oh man, oh, I'd be such a happy camper. Yeah, I mean, this is tough, right? Because we're, we're sort of picking our, our favorites here. But the truth is, is we really love what each other's picking. Yeah. But, you know, you've mentioned the tank, so I'm going to stay within the tank realm because the tank really is an iconic reference, you know, born in 1917, but we're here in the future. And speaking of the future, we have a whole new dial engraving technique, mm -hmm. uh, electrochemical engraving. Uh, again, we've, we've hit the theme of texture, especially when I was talking about the Santos Dumont. We're seeing a similar thing here. We've had burgundy and black, mm -hmm. or sort of this Bordeaux red. 
And this grid-like texture, again, it's so three-dimensional. I, like, I don't know how they really, like, I just don't know how they do it. I mean, I know the method, but when you see it, it's just, it's just magic. It yeah. really looks so cool. And you know, gold, they're just so classic, so chic, so modern. It's just everything all in one. So yeah. there's just so much to love, really, truly. I, I have to say, so we're, you know, we're going back and forth. We're talking yeah. about our favorites, but there was definitely one watch. I think we both agree. Oh man, just being there in the presence of this watch and trying to understand the mechanics behind it. Yeah. It has to be the Mass Mysterious. Yes. Such a beautiful reference. The way it's structured, and I wish I could sit here and explain it to you, but <laughs> that's how mysterious it is. The whole movement is encased within the rotor of the watch. So as you're sitting there expecting the movement to stay in one place, just watching it go around the hour and minute hand, it's just a treat to the eyes. Yeah. So for those who don't know, mystery dials give the illusion that the hands, so in this case, hours and minutes, are just floating and that you can't really see what's sort of connected to it. How is it running? How is it working? It's a very complex mechanism. In fact, the crown of the watch will only set the time to wind it. You're gonna have to get moving, get your steps in, mm -hmm. okay? It, it's a very complex mechanism, so, um, you know, it's, it's a mystery, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's a mystery. Mass Mysterious. Uh, mass Mysterious. So, you know, it's, it's a very cool piece, very elegantly finished. This shows the Cartier, uh, you know, this isn't just about fashion. They really understand movement design, movement decoration. And this is a piece that a lot of people are gonna be talking about. Yeah. Not just because of the mystery, but because of the aesthetics and how, how really truly gorgeous it is. But you know, I wanna circle back just one more thing, because I know you really loved it. The Cartier oh. Santos, with a oh, little yeah. hint of blue to it, right? I mean, the Cartier Santos, and I'm usually not a date on the Santos kind of guy, but yeah. when you look at just how beautiful that watch is, it gives you that nice sporty vibe. As you were saying in there, the effect of two-tone, but with the blue and the steel, it, it's just a really nice watch. And you know what? I just love the reference, kind of the way they do two-tone. I gotta have it. I, I just say, I gotta yeah, have it. I mean, look, we see two-tone all the time with steel and precious metal. Uh, we've seen Audemars Piguet, for example, mix precious metal with ceramic. But this is the first time really I've seen two-tone done in this way. Uh, 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 you, you know, know what? Guys, we've given you so much information, but I think it's time that me and Zach go back in because you know what? Those were amazing. We got to see those one more time.